Alright guys, so here with Drew after his fight, split decision, loss, a tough fight, right? Yeah, tough fight. So one of the judges, I saw him winning, the, I think the first round, she rocked him with some good side kicks on the first round. And then knocked him down with the front kick. Yeah, knocked him down with the front kick, hit him pretty hard with that one. So had some, uh, some tough things go on out there, right? Yeah. So we had a little bit of strategy, kind of change up, but we're going to go back and work on it right yes. yeah so that's the, the most important thing sometimes it doesn't go your way sometimes it doesn't uh, all work out in your head the way you thought it was going to work out but like I told you earlier he's one of four that's stepping out there tonight you know so it's uh it's tough doing this it's a hard training camp wasn't it yeah <laughs> and now he gets to eat so he's happy about that that's the so word. we got Ooh. Hayden coming up next and then I'm uh, main event in the night so that yeah. be a good one if you're excited so Drew, what was hard for you about this fight? Um, definitely trying to keep my head, head up around um, me. Yeah. Cool. You're yeah. What's some advice for next time for him? Um, stick more maybe to what we're doing in, at home at, uh, at the Karate Center. I think you know things that uh, maybe we were watching and copying. Like that happens sometimes. You imprint on what the other person's doing and you copy their style and just stick with your own. Happens to every good fighter. So we'll just we'll just work on staying rigid to the game plan. Yeah. Trying to zoom in and probably having confidence maybe in what's being coached, right? Like like doing it in that moment, not getting scared to do it. So we'll work on that stuff. But it's all good. Drew's young and um, he's got a, a bright bright future ahead of him because he's one of the toughest kids that I know. So he just I know Mama was proud. He takes so it and then he comes back and, mm -hmm. and keeps on going. Right. Exactly. We're proud of him. He did a great job, and um, I know he's going to do even better. Yeah. So cool. Go team! <laughs> nice. Good night!
But still, then. Pink. But hey, Victoria's Secret, as long as I'm not required to be in your catalog, we're good to go. <laughs> All right, Miss Jennifer, what's happening? I'm getting my hair done. <laughs> Making sure it's, it's all. Important. She's turning into Medusa. <laughs> She's going to have snakes in her hair. Snakes going on my hair. It's really not uh, nice. You, you need scissors, doctor. Right. She's got her handy dandy knife. Man, that ain't no handy dandy knife. That's a big old knife. <laughs> this is a sign of knife. Yeah, that's, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a knife. Yeah, that's a little baby knife right there. Of course, you know. Smallest knife I've ever had right here. And oh, it's wow. really small. It, for it you. is super small. <laughs> Just get the. What's so cool when you work with a real blade <laughs> is that, of course, it's got to be sharp, but is when you <laughs> hang meat from it. A oh, string gosh. and you actually cut it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just in one swipe. Yeah, you cut it, you stab it, you do everything with it. Oh, gosh. It's so much fun. You wouldn't think it would be. <laughs> it is. It's like, oh, man, this is cool. Is it one of those, you don't think it's cool until you do it kind of thing? It is. Okay. It's like, eh, you play with a knife, you know, rubber knives. You go, eh, it's just <laughs> no big deal. Until you get a sharp knife and you go out and you hang, hang a chicken or, <laughs> you know, a piece of ham or something, you know, mm -hmm. a piece of slab of meat. Oh, and then okay. you start stabbing it and start cutting it and hitting it with strikes just to see how you have to hit it mm -hmm. and how you have to push that wrist in to get it to cut hmm. and it's it gets the adrenaline flowing good to know <laughs> oh my gosh it's cousin it <laughs> it is Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, I'm sure we're all watching this after the outcome of the fight's been decided, but I'm about to go in main event show, so that means I'm the last fight of the night, which is an honor, but um, it's also a curse as a fighter, because you have to wait, you know, and try to maintain your calm and all that stuff, so I'm about to go in, just try to, you know, relax during the, the next couple of minutes, maybe watch some Netflix, listen to my jams, and just stay relaxed until it's time to do my thing. Um, already gone ahead in my head and figured out what I need to do and worked through a few things with my dad earlier, got inside the ring, bounced around a little bit, I feel comfortable, I feel good. Um, just trying to keep all the chatter inside my head calmed down. I think that that's, no matter if you're fighting a battle, you know, to make a tough decision or you're fighting a battle of what's the right thing to do or you're, you're fighting a battle for, you know, doing the right thing even though everybody else is telling you not to do the right thing. You've, all, you've got these conversations in your mind just like I've got images of the fight playing out in mine and um, you just have to stick to the ones that have you coming out victorious and then you have to take all the ones of the what ifs, what if that, what if that and you just got to kill them and um, don't let them permeate your mind like close those loops like, okay, well, what if that happens? Okay, this is what you're gonna do. What if that happens? Okay, this is what you're gonna do. You've trained for it, you've done it. Um, so that's kind of what's going through my head pre-fight. So big fight, title fight, main event, first time ever. Won't be the last time ever though. So I'm excited, let's go do this.
about this fight compared to your others? I feel like I'm in much better shape. I'm not tired, exhausted like I have been before other fights. I feel more prepared. So, everything you're supposed to do. That's because you are. <laughs> much better. So for the audience at home, what's that doing for her back and shoulders and everything else? Stimulating the muscles. So they should fire at a faster rate. So when you stimulate the skin at a high rate, mm -hmm. you make the brain more aware of those body areas. Okay. So she was having a little muscle spasm. So now we're trying to refocus. going in there, I want you to get used to the cool. I want nothing to be just shocking.
There you go, there you go. Coming out your heart. Give me some water. I told you, she's nothing but Cigna. Let her work herself to death, okay? Uh, keep working the shot like you do and make her come to you and she cannot be there. You won the first two rounds easy. Hit her with the hard shots, hit her with some light shots. Just hit her. You good? Look at me. That's your shin. You got this. Okay? You can't, I mean, it's just a matter of picking the shots. Don't be kicking her the head so much. Work that body. Baby, perfect. Everything good? Huh? Right. Your shin's hurting? You got to suck it up on that. Left shin? And she's coming out hard this round. This is the fourth round.
Disregard that. Go after it. Bro, you got guts, bro. Tommy can't talk about it. 
family up there. And tonight, the awesome. family can go out and celebrate because you are the new champion. What is next for Jennifer? Well, first off, I want to go home to my son that we just adopted from China this past year. Back in! <laughs> so that's my immediate future, and then I uh, just want to see what's next in my career in fighting and martial arts, and so I'm grateful for all the opportunities that are in front of me, and for the people that are watching, I know that a good bit of you guys drove a really long way, yeah. and I really yeah. appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, after the fight is over, please hang around, I would like to shake each and every one of your hands. I want to say hi to you guys, those of you who didn't come here to watch me, hopefully I made you a fan tonight. Jennifer Warrior Waters on Facebook, Jennifer S. Waters on Instagram. Follow me. It's going to be a huge ride to the top, guys. she was going to be coming out after me and that she was going to want to close the distance and I knew I needed to set the tone for her and uh, set the tone for the fight and just make her hesitant to want to come in and I definitely um, I definitely did that. As you guys are coming on, if you have questions for me, make sure you drop it in the comments. we got a few more people coming on. Mr. Zach will read off the comments to me and then I'll be happy to respond. So. Miss Annie said you gave that foot a workout tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I did, ma'am. I gave it a real good workout. Um, both feet, actually, but uh, I think I flexed my my foot on her face a little bit. Um, I hit her with my shin um, to her face, uh, which is what knocked her knocked her out. Like she was out, she hit the ground and she woke back up because um, I saw her eyes. Her eyes went back <laughs> in her head, and then um, she hit the ground and I was like, "Crap!" Because she started getting back up. I was like, "Ah, oh, we're not done yet." But um, 
she was a really tough opponent. That's twice that's happened. Yeah, I gotta figure we gotta figure that out. <laughs> kick harder. Just kick harder. That's what we gotta do. We gotta work on harder harder kicks. So I uh, came out and then uh, round two just wanted to, to really you know keep up the pace with her and uh, really good, was wanted to work my hands a lot. Um, I was really proud of how, how much I did work my hands. A lot of my other fights I was just working the legs primarily. And uh, in this fight, I was, I mean, I think I hit just as much, maybe. Uh, I probably hit more on my feet than I did my hands. But it felt like I was hitting more. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And I went out there and I did that. And then when was the, when was the knockdown? Third round? Second round? Third, third, third. third round. Third round knockdown. Um, yeah, I, I went out and I was like, I was feeling, I was really trying to take her out in round three. And, um, and then when, she didn't go out round four. She came back out, and she was like, he told me in the corner, she's going to come after you, and she did. She came out round four. I got a little lazy in uh, round four. Um, ended up, but uh, I took a few shots, but not so much. I could see a lot of her hands coming at me, so I was able just to move out of the way. Um, she got me with, like, I think she got me with a front kick. I felt the front yeah, kick. Yeah, she did. But um, it. It, it really, like, thanks to you, <laughs> Mr. Zach, and... Hayden and you know all my other training partners they've kicked me so hard before in, in the abs um, so you know uh, I've definitely eaten some kicks and um, you know I know Cigna you're not here um, you know but uh, I really appreciate all the training and stuff like that at the very beginning of the, the summer when we got to train a little bit before we moved away um, that's good but um, we got a little bit of training because I think you were the last person that was close to my same size that I trained with. Everybody else has been bigger than me or has outgrown me. Uh, Taylor Jordan, also a huge training partner um, for me until she was out and injured um, and really, really pushed me. And so that was, um, that was incredible as well. So it felt great in round four. Uh, kind of got my win back. I, I was tired at the end of round three-ish after knocking her out. Got that adrenaline rush and it kind of came down in round five. Um, yeah, I just came out and I was like, I'm just gonna leave it all out here. And I was like, I know, I knew I had, to, I knew I had two minutes. And you know, there's always something we always say, like, always. I'm pushing everybody back at the karate school. I'm like, you can do anything in the world for 10 seconds, or you can do anything in the world for 15 seconds, you can do anything in the world for two minutes. That's all I had in my head. You can do anything in the world for two minutes. Two minutes is not that long. And so I just went out there and I was really, really trying to hear my dad and what he was telling me to do and do it when he told me to do it. So that was a trick. So. Miss Rose just said, amazing fight, ma'am. Congratulations. Thank you. Miss um, Lee said, God bless you. Now rest. Yes. Um, <laughs> that Ms. sounds like a plan. Miss T, um, uh, Leah and Tanya here, we love you. You are you were amazing. Thank you, guys. Miss um, Dan Young, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, All right, champ, how are you feeling day after? I feel like I was in a fight. Uh, but I feel good. So we won the championship. We're bringing Woo. it back to Augusta. Yeah. Woo -woo. <laughs> so excited about that. Um, I definitely think I've been hurt up, beat up a, a lot worse after a fight. So um, I'm I'm stoked about the fact that I don't have black eyes and there's nothing going on in my face, which is always fun to cover up the next week. <laughs> so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, Got a little yeah. foot issue going on. We'll get yeah, that checked should, out. Yeah. But um, did a lot of kicks and threw a lot of hard kicks out there last night. So I think that that's why my feet are being a little angry at me right now at the moment. <laughs> but it was worth it. And it was an incredible experience. And I had so many people come down and um, so many people watch live. So I really enjoyed the experience. I enjoyed being on that platform and hopefully can use that platform to the best of my ability to just uh, showcase what the true strength of a warrior is and how everybody can do it. If I can do it, other people can do it. You know, they can learn that in internal fortitude. So I enjoyed myself very much, put in a lot of hard work to do what we did last night, but I'm very thankful it's over. I can take this time to whew, chill out mentally for a little while. Not chill out necessarily physically, but chill out mentally for a little while. Um, so I don't have to think about getting ready for a fight or having a fight come up or being in a title fight and the first time in a main event. Like, I've already done all those first. Now I don't have to ever do those again because they're already done. <laughs> so I thought it was cool. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, what do you think, Dad? I think it was awesome. <laughs> uh, great experience.
she did exactly what I told her to when I told her to do it. Okay. And part of that was the success story. Yes. I could see when she was tired and I was telling her code words to back off and I could see when the, her opponent was tired and I was telling her the code words to attack and how to attack. And she was knocking it out of the park, literally. She was just <laughs> I mean, I wasn't telling her every little move to do. She did a lot of stuff on her own, of course, but, and then you have to set that stuff up. It's not like I go push a button and then, you know, the little thing goes ding ding like this and it happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it's just the setup. That's just the, that's the next play in the game, so. Yeah, for sure. And, and that's something we've been working on. It's been, been real successful, and, and we just keep fine tuning it. And, and don't worry if you're listening for the code words, they won't be the same next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, but it was, it was awesome. Good. Good stuff. For sure. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know there's going to be more, um, but for this episode, probably this is the wrap up. So make sure you guys follow me. Stay tuned here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Jennifer Waters, the warrior. That's where it's at.